good evening all it's uh, an honor me to uh, introduce my uh, student pranjal singh who got uh, first rank in the ini uh, ss exam in gastroenterology first of all i want to congratulate you for uh, getting such a, a remarkable achievement and uh, getting into the gastroenterology so uh, uh, can you uh, just introduce yourself Hi sir, good evening sir. Sir, uh, my name is Dr. Pranjal sir. I've done my MBBS from uh, Bulana Dad Medical College, New Delhi, and sir, I've done my MD in medicine from uh, PJMR Chandigarh sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, my, for the INISS exam sir. So last time you was uh, getting a uh, uh, AIMS, sorry sir, right? So still you continue to study for AIMS Delhi and the uh, PJ Chandigarh. That's a great determination and uh, yes, uh, that's a. Uh, that that shows your love for your subject as well as and from where you want to learn that is also very important especially in gastroenterology gastro yes. being a semi surgical branch uh, it's important to uh, have a uh, degree from a center where you can learn therapeutic endoscopy and uh, uh, tell uh, can you tell me how you prepared for your exam yes sir so, so uh, when i gave the exam the first time sir uh, i had a rank of 5 and at that time sir i had Read bits and pieces of Schlesinger, and I had just given the exam. But I, my preparation was not that good and up to the mark because for the first time, the mistake that I had done that I had not pra- practiced any MCQs for the exam. So I just read the text, and I was not able to uh, revise it for the first time. So, however, the second time, what I did was that uh, I used uh, two to three things. The first was that I read Schlesinger once again, but this time in uh, more depth. but this time i tried to cover only important topics rather than every uh, page of fleshing the sir so i tried to read important topics again and again sir i saw a lot of your videos uh, from maro so then the third thing that i did was that i saw uh, isg master class videos which are on youtube sir these were more helpful in the interview round because that these are the type of questions that they want uh, ask and they, there are certain things that they want to hear in your interview so uh, for that i used the master class video sir apart from that sir i uh, used uh, some i read some of th- some of the acg guidelines and uh, easel and aslt statements but for that sir i only read the consensus statements not the uh, entire guideline not in depth sir just the bulleted points which are given so that would only take uh, 5 to 10 minutes sir and sir finally sir i uh, did a lot of questions from the board review of uh, sheshinger sir because when it, uh, it is very hard to read everything in sheshinger so but board review there's one board review book which will help us the, the the mcq in that book are from fleshinger only sir so i used that book also uh, ist master class uh, help you more in the uh, first uh, stage or second stage because uh, in ist master class the last part has got a lot of uh, question and answer session so those question and answer answers might have help you in the vivo also right yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. indeed sir they plus sir they ask your approach and then in the in those videos you can also see that they would be uh, questioning the directly the dm res- residents also mm-hmm. so you get to know how to approach a topic and this is what they asked me in the interview round also sir regarding the acg guidelines uh, which all topics you read from acg and uh, esl asld so main topics uh, only or you went through all the guidelines of uh, no, uh, topics no, in gastroenterology the, uh, sir so for liver i read uh, mainly two sir one uh, uh, one was the uh, easel article on decompensated cirrhosis by uh, paulo angeli and sir uh, for hepatitis b i read both easel and asld actually because in mm. hepatitis b sir they tend to ask a lot of questions from uh, scenarios mm. and th- they are not that well described in uh, fleshinger although they are given yeah. but they have just touched upon them but they ask on lot of on pregnancy when to treat in cirrhosis when not to uh, treat a patient on vaccination so in hepatitis b sir i studied in great detail and sir uh, recently uh, bavino 7 uh, consensus statements also were published so i uh, read through that also for uh, gi very uh, gi bleed sir i know i heard bavino for the first time when i joined gastroenterology so you read bavino before joining gastroenterology that's a <laughs> great thing you have read most of the things in gastroenterology before becoming a gastroenterology resident so you don't have to read anything during your residency you have to focus uh, you can focus more on your <laughs> therapeutic part that's a good thing no because uh, it's very good to have an idea regarding a subject before yeah. you join that subject so you have done a very good uh, uh, the uh, theory part your theory part is very strong so uh, now you should focus more on review okay. articles and the uh, study so it will be useful for you because uh, once you go into the review articles and uh, 
studies then only you will be able to identify the lacunas of the subject so then you can focus more on that and you can uh, publish good number of studies also so it's very good that you have read this much uh, things for your exams uh, even though that much uh, high five questions won't be asked for the exam but you have yes, a sir. very good very good uh, knowledge regarding the subject that's sir, a very good good and most of the things out of interest also plus in yeah. our uh, md days also in hepatology they would ask us to read all these articles so that mm. we would be able to see patients in opd better of hepatitis b hepatitis c so they would ask even the consultants there they would ask us to read these articles for better understanding but, also but the recent uh, this thing is also very good right decent sleeping is also very good because in hepatitis c yes, and all yes. they have given most of the uh, st- uh, trials and uh, approach mm. in hepatitis c so compared yes, to the last sleeping there the current sleeping they have updated very well so i think yes. that is also and yes, uh, regarding gastroenterology and hepatology uh, which uh, uh, which part of uh, gastro you like more you like more of uh, liver or more of uh, lumen the liver, liver not liver more than lumen yes sir no no oh, so but you like a uh, lumen once you start uh, doing procedures because yes, uh, lumen is a very fascinating thing because once you uh, because uh, uh, in uh, md time we have mostly exposure to liver. cirrhosis and all so yes, but when you uh, start to do practice in uh, gastroenterology you will like uh, after 3 years i will ask you the same question which okay. one you prefer gastroenterology or hepatology at that time you will definitely say that uh, you will prefer uh, okay. lumen because the uh, lumen uh, the instant relief that you get uh, by treating a patient you won't mm-hmm. get in a, a liver disease patient so liver mm-hmm. disease will take a longer yes, so course so now it's liver because I, we have more exposure to liver cases yes, in yes, that, but uh, gastro the fascinating thing is that it has got both the clinical part as well as uh, mm-hmm. uh, interventional part interventional part is gastroenterology yes. clinical part is hepatology so that is the beauty of gastroenterology you continue to be a clinician as well as you continue to be a, you can be a surgeon and physician at the same time that is the yes. beauty of gastroenterology and yes. uh, uh, what is your future plan so where are you planning to join like sir i'm uh, still yet to decide between aims delhi and pgi sir both places have their pros and cons i've done my md from pgi so that is one factor and plus i think um, i'm sir, still not sh- very sure uh, the health thing on this in the next 2 to 3 days sir tell me about your uh, family and uh, how family supported you during your uh, preparation and all because in the first time uh, you got uh, rank 5 and uh, how will your family uh, help you to uh, continue studying for the next uh, aims and all yes sir so sir uh, last time uh, i had given the exam uh, with my md preparation sir so at that time i could not uh, prepare this well but this time i decided not to uh, join any medicine assistantship however this appears as a lucrative option but i thought that i would dedicate uh, some good amount of 3 4 months to studying only and i uh, moved back to delhi and so during this phase my uh, family helped me a lot sir uh, my father is also a gastroenterologist so he also helped me he also told me some of the uh, important topics in gastro and what all to re- read and Uh, what like how to go about it also and he told me some of the practical aspects also and sir i think uh, staying with family was very helpful during this phase because uh, a lot of things are already uh, taken care of as compared to when you are uh, living alone sir and i had the oh. support of my younger brother also so yeah, that is nice that is very nice okay all the best uh, pranjan and uh, have a nice time in gastroenterology i hope you will enjoy gastroenterology like anything and uh, like i asked uh, i will ask you which subject you like uh, whether hepatology or gastroenterology after 3 years of uh, your uh, uh, dm course i will ask i will definitely ask <laughs> all the best all the best for your future and many congratulations for uh, securing such a very good rank in uh, uh, prestigious uh, exam like INSS. All the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Goodbye, sir. Thank you.